Hi everyone! Welcome to a site for sport highs. I'm going to help walk you through how to order a product because we understand that ordering prescription is a little confusing and uh, we've tried to do what we can to make it easy on the site but we know uh, it's still a little complicated so we wanted to make sure everyone was aware on how to go ahead and order. Up here we have our uh, top menu bars and you can pick by the brand if you're looking for something specific. Uh, most people choose to shop here by activity, by different activities. You can see this here is our ASTM safety rated sports products which are really popular this would cover all ball and stick sports and then you have them separately here as well uh, the football ones would cover anything with a helmet these are all goggles assigned to fit under helmets uh, we have all of your other sports your cycling your running your tennis and then we have protective eyewear which are all ANSI safety rated eyewear here uh, I'm just going to go uh, let's see with our most popular products here, which is our ASTM safety rated sports goggles. And you can also use these sidebars here to narrow it down by if it's prescription. Let's do yes, because we're mostly trying to order prescription today, because that's the complicated part. Um, you can also narrow down by range. So if you have a really high prescription, this is a good way to narrow down what's going to work with your prescription. Either a high sphere or a high cylinder. You can do whatever you're up to your power that you see on your prescription there. The, the, the uh, sphere is going to be the first number, the first column of your prescription, and the cylinder will be the second column of your prescription. Uh, you could also narrow it down by a safety ratings, or if you had plastic frames, or if you wanted interchangeable lenses. These are all the places to do those filters. Uh, so let's just pick one of these, because this is just to show you. And so here is where the frame's going to come up. If you wanted to just order parts for a specific frame, you already have these, say you already have these goggles and you're just looking for parts, you would order parts here and that would take you to a different uh, page to order just the parts. Um, but we're going to be ordering a uh, prescription so you can you can click this button, but I'm going to not click that button just kind of show you there's two ways to, to do this. So in case you miss that part there. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click the frame color you want. These are all you're going to be your frame colors here. Uh, this one requires a size. Not all the styles will require a size. And then this one has some other options too, as well as if you wanted to upgrade to with a case and, and stuff like that. Um, if you don't know what these things mean, they will all be down in the bottom here telling you what all the different things there are, uh, all the information page there. So here's the important part. So where it says, is this a prescription here? If you want to order a prescription, you're going to click yes, order prescription lenses now. If you do just the yes, try frame first, it's not going to open up any options because what you would do is just add the, to the card if you wanted to just try it and make sure it fit before you did lenses. But if you're all ready to order with prescription, you want to put yes, order prescription lenses now. And that will open up all of the prescription options here. So here you have your options. You have single vision, which is distance only. If you don't need bifocals, this is all what your kids and anyone under 40 is usually going to do this. Um, or if you don't need to read whenever you're playing your sport, uh, most people do distance only. Here's if you want some line bifocals, your progressive and your sport wrap progressive. The difference on the sport wrap is that you're going to have a lot bigger distance area and very little near and intermediate zone because it's assuming you're mostly using it for distance but then you just would use your near or something to check your phone or write a scorecard or something like that. All right and then you have your lens pick a lens color here so these are all your lens colors we put just the most popular options here so if you have a lens option that you want um, that you don't see here you're not limited to these these are just the most popular but for since we're doing sports goggles most people go clear so we'll pick clear and then this section is optional where you would pick the prescription lens add-ons this is where you can add things like the fog coating is probably the most popular thing we do we've got two brands of fog coating so you've got the optifog which includes a scratch coating when and a two-year warranty on the scratch coating 
Or we have this, uh, just the fog coating only here, uh, which has doesn't have the scratch coating. But the thing is, is if you wanted, say, like, um, if this gets in sunglasses, but if you wanted a mirror, for instance, this coating doesn't work with any other coatings um, other than an anti-reflective coating. So you'd have to do the, this IC no fog. Uh, same thing if you want lined bifocals. This this coating they don't make for lined bifocals. So you'd have to go with this coating here. Um, I can just quickly go through the rest. This is an anti-glare. So mostly if you're doing clear lenses, you might want to consider the anti-glare. That's what makes it look like you're not wearing any lenses. So you can see through. So cause mostly cosmetic, but it also reduces some glare from indoor lights if you're playing indoors. Uh, here's a scratch coating if you just want a scratch coating by itself without the fog. Uh, this blue light filter is... Uh, if you are outdoors and you're concerned about the blue light, um, sometimes gives people migraines and stuff like that. So there's your blue light. A spheric is if you are going to um, have a real high plus lens, we recommend this. It'll just make the lenses a little bit thinner. Uh, HD digital lens is similar to, uh, you know, HD TV. It's just a, the manufacturing process and gives you a little bit crisper, sharper vision than you would without that. Um, and then Trivex is a zero distortion lens material. Uh, if you are sensitive to any distortion, that polycarbonate, the standard polycarbonate has in it. And then here we get into our prescription lens options. So on your prescription, you should see three columns. Um, or if it's written without a column, you would, you know, just see the, the maybe two. But most people have three numbers. So this is this first column is this right or the OD. And uh, that is just Latin. So don't worry about the OD. But that's what you might see on your prescription. But that stands for your right eye. Um, and so you would pick the lens option here. If you scroll down and your prescription is high, you'll see it adds in some extra charges for high prescriptions, or it'll eventually tell you if it's above this, then you'll have to call for a custom quote to see if it's even possible. Um, the cylinder would be the second number, our second column on the prescription. Same thing, you would put the number, whatever numbers you see there. I forget to pick one here. And then the axis should be a an integer just like between 0 and 180 degrees. This is if you're thinking about a protractor and you have, you know, on a scale of 0 to 180 degrees. This is where we put this extra band of power. So this power is in your full lens. This is the power that's at whatever axis it says on your prescription. It's just a little technical, but that's, that's kind of what it means. So you do the same for the left eye. And then your pupil distance might not be written on your prescription. Your pupil distance, wherever you've got glasses made, should have it, but a lot of times they don't want to give it to you. So if you don't know how to do that, we'll go in a minute and look at the frequently asked questions, and I'll tell you how to measure that. This add part is only as if you're going to get bifocals. So bifocals require this add power. And then just a note, if you are doing bifocals or progressives, um, we do have to send you the frame first. You'll get the frame in the mail from us with instructions on how to measure for where to put the height of the progressive or the uh, bifocal line. Um, and then sometimes people have prism. It's pretty rare. Uh, you'll see that usually a little triangle on the prescription. Um, so if you have anything here, you can notes you want to put in here, you want to give us your doctor's phone number we can call and verify the prescription if you're not sure you put it in right or you can upload the prescription here uh, just a shot with your camera phone uh, and upload it is fine we don't have to have like an official copy of it and then here's where you would add it all to the cart now let's say that you did want to i'm going to go back for a minute uh did we talked about if you didn't like the lens options that were showing there, the only most popular ones. So if you wanted other lens options, um, this would be this is would be where you go. So the all prescription lens options, and this will show you all of the lens options possible. Uh, so all the lens materials. So if you wanted thinner high index lenses, not available for her sports frames, but for like a sunglass, if you wanted lenses to be thinner, uh, you could upgrade to high index here. 
Uh, here's where you've got most of the same things, but then we've got some specialty lens colors that aren't usually on the other pages, like these transition colors that change from clear to like purple or clear to blue, or these are mirror transitions, so they go clear to gray, but with a mirror on it if you wanted. Um, usually we get into sunglasses, these, these can be more popular. Then we have these polarized specialty colors too. And all these options, if you wanted to see this a little bit bigger because this doesn't pop open, if you go to here under help and prescription lens information, um, this is where all those materials would be listed. Um, so you have all what the definitions of all the lens materials are here. This is, shows you a sample prescription on how to read it. Um, if you're this here, so we talked about the PD. So this is where it tells you how to, P, to take a PD. So it's basically the distance from center pupil to center pupil. So you would just have a straight line ruler, nothing, not like a measuring tape that bends across. You want it to be flat like a ruler and measure from center pupil to center pupil while a person looks out to distance. You don't want to really take it in the mirror because that'll give you a wrong measurement. You want to make sure that the person you're measuring is looking off into distance. Uh, this will go through all of the bifocal um, options. Uh, these are all of the tint colors and what they're good for. Um, different lighting conditions, different activities. So like if you're playing uh, baseball, you have a white ball, you might not want a brown lens because it's going to case contrast. If you are playing golf or something, you might want more of a a brown base lens as well. If you're playing tennis though with a yellow ball you might want a green base lens because a green is going to act with the yellow better than a brown. So just all those things are there. Um, these are the different color mirrors. Uh, different color polarized and how that looks through the polarized lenses. Um, and then these are those specialty colors that you saw there. So if you wanted to polarize but wanted a specialty color. Some of these are mostly fashion, some a little bit functional. If you're, f you know, fishing in shallow waters, you might want a, you know, a lighter lens or something like that. Um, but that does go into all of that kind of stuff. And then your photochromic, so that oh, those transition colors that we talked about, these are those colors, those fancy transition lenses that change colors. Um, you have this dry wear, which is polarized and changes color in a car. And uh, it goes through the different fog coatings and all that kind of stuff. So this is where you would get all the information on the lenses. All right, so back. So that pretty much goes through everything that you need to know. I'm going to assume that uh, once you've got everything in the cart, that there's no kind of issues. It should be pretty straightforward. You can estimate your, your t we have no tax, but you can estimate shipping here, um, or it'll just give you these options. Um, if, uh, you have any questions you can use our live chat that just popped up here um, live chat is open during our business hours which is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. pacific time um, and then you can just proceed to check out you can always call our phone number here too if you're confused and not sure what to do you can call us uh, you can text us if you go to the contact us page um, our text phone number is there as well uh, or email us as well, however you'd like to get a hold of us. Um, our location is in Westland, Oregon here, which is in the Portland metro area. So if you wanted to come in and try stuff on, you are welcome to just uh, give us a call and schedule a time to come in and uh, look at the showroom. Uh, if you have any other questions, again, just feel free to call us. Thanks for the time, guys, and uh, thank you for supporting the site for Sport Eyes.